Hello everyone, welcome to CodingScientist.com. You are watching the most exciting and special series for absolute beginners to get hands on into different types of sensors used in robotics, IoT and automation. So having said that, we will be using Arduino UNO and sensor expansion board which I had been showing you in the last couple of lessons on top of which is mounted on top of Arduino UNO, right? And we will be uh, you know uh, plugging 45 50 different types of sensors to read it and I will show you how to do that right so let's uh, let's see how I have uh, plugged in this this particular lesson I will show you a new sensor called magnetic sensor right so what is a magnetic sensor so let me let me show you how it looks like so this is how the magnetic sensor looks like all right it's a small casing here a black color you know a magnetic uh, switch kind of thing with three different wires obviously it's a 3.3 volt or a 5 volt and one goes to the vcc and one goes to the signal pin that is the yellow one right and that is connected to your arduino expansion board the sensor expansion board right so this is connected to d2 so basically you know the way it works right the magnetic switch module is basically based on a encapsulated dry reed switch okay which is also called as ct10 so ct10 is basically a single pole single throw spst single throw or single pole spst single pole single throw type you need to make a note of it right having normally open ruthenium contacts that is the way it works the sensor is basically a double ended type and may be actuated with a magnetic electromagnetic or a permanent magnet so i am going to use a small little magnet which i have it with me once we load the program i will show it to you how it works so right so the permanent magnet or a combination of both can be used for this particular project the magnetic switch is basically a wonderful tool for you know designers who would like to turn a circuit on and off based on the proximity of the magnet which is going nearby so it's going to be a wonderful project including robotics and stuff this sensor can be used to build basically you know your proximity sensor or a security alarm sensor uh, you know any kind of leveling sensors flow sensors pulse counter uh, you know all these types can be built on a robot itself that is possible you can you can act you need innovation right you need to think and build how you want to do it the signal pin of this particular sensor output low generally becomes low when the magnet goes nearby when a magnet approaches the switch the magnetic switch closes and the signal pin generates triggers uh, output as a high right it's it's a kind of your relay switch but operates on a magnet so let's take a look at it guys how uh, it works so let me move on to my desktop so what you need to do obviously you need to switch over to uh, my github if you go to my github here so go to this particular section okay which is uh, uh, you know arduino sensor projects right i also have another section called arduino sensor library so for timing you can leave it this particular switch may not require a library i will show it to you at a later stage go to this section sensor projects in projects if you go to lesson number four magnetic switch right click on here and then go to raw here on top just above me raw click raw then you press ctrl a then right click copy then open the arduino ide and you paste it here so this is the code all about it. it's a pretty simple code those of you who followed my uh, c programming lessons in using arduino mega it's very easy for you to understand so go ahead and read if you don't understand ask me i will be glad to help you guys so load this code and once your code is ready we will then move to this particular circuit i am going to show it to you right now i have already uploaded the code so let's let's see how it works so if you look at the sensor if you look at the onboard led inside it's barely visible let me just hold it like this right if i bring the 
if I bring the magnet in my hand, this is the magnet I have. If I bring it close to the sensor, the LED onboard LED inside the board should glow. There you go. Can you see that? If I bring the magnet very close, there you go. Great. Excellent. So the program seems to be working perfect. So the possibility all of this is we can also, you know, uh, trigger a relay circuit using one of the board or trigger, trigger a LDR or trigger an alarm, you know, a speaker. All those things is possible, right? So since you are able to send a digital out, send a digital out to LED pin number 13, which is an onboard LED, it's possible to use this magnet or any other magnet you might have, right? trigger an alarm or trigger any other external circuit with this particular sensor so look at it guys if you know there are plenty of opportunities there are so many things we can do all right so i will see you soon in the next lesson with the next sensor goodbye